video, we're going to go through frequency F, wavelength lambda, and speed of light C. Let's look at the given. We're going to do an example. Given satellite radio uses the S band, which is IEEE frequency designation for 2 to 4 gigahertz range. And satellite radio uses this S band at 2.3 gigahertz in the United States. And satellite radio uses the S band at 1.4 gigahertz in the L band which the L band is IEEE frequency designation for one to two gigahertz range outside the USA. So 1.4 gigahertz is used outside the USA, 2.3 gigahertz is used inside the USA. So we wanna find the wavelength used in USA associated with the 2.3 gigahertz frequency and the wavelength used outside the USA associated with the 1.4 gigahertz frequency. Then we want to find in C which band of the EM spectrum are both, and then D which wavelength is longer of these two. So we need to know some equations. So since we are dealing with gigahertz, first thing you notice is we're given units in gigahertz. Hertz units are frequencies, so you automatically know we're in frequencies. Also, we're listening to satellite radio, and radio is a portion of the radio band or of the light band of the EM spectrum. So we know we are looking at light. And so we're looking at speed of light and we're given frequency. So now we need to find the wavelength. The equations that we're gonna use are frequency is equal to one over the period. Speed of light is equal to frequency times the wavelength, which is also three times 10 to the eighth. And that's equal to the speed of light. And that is equal to frequency times the wavelength. Now we can automatically rule out this first equation because we're not given any periods. Periods are units of seconds or hours or minutes or days. Since we're not given anything in these units, we can cross that one out. These two are the same. It's just that we had substituted in for the speed of light, which is about three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So now let's solve this. Let's look at A. So A is we want to find the 2.3 gigahertz. So we need our 3 times 10 to the 8th. I'm just going to make it short instead of 3.00 times 10 to the 8th. And the units are meters per second. So remember to keep units and numbers in that numerator and denominator. Now we know that's equal to the frequency, and the frequency we're given is 2.3 gigahertz. Now giga means 9. So it's 2.3 times 10 to the ninth hertz. Now hertz is a special unit. That means number per second. So I'm just gonna replace it with a number symbol and divide by seconds. Number is not a unit, it's just a placeholder. And so we can automatically see that we can cancel out our seconds units. So we see our second unit cancels on both sides and our number just cancels because it's not really a, it's just a placeholder, it's not a, a particular unit, and we're left with units of meter. So we have 2.3 times 10 to the ninth, that's our frequency, now we have to add in our multiply by wavelength. So we have to add in the piece that we're missing, which is our wavelength. So you can see this is where I got this part from. So now what we need to do is we need to divide three times 10 to the eighth meters divide that by 2.3 times 10 to the ninth meters, because we need to divide both sides by 2.3 times 10 to the ninth, ninth meters, which gets rid of this whole right-hand side, and we're left with three times 10 to the eighth, divided by 2.3 times 10 to the ninth. So let's go to our Google calculator and divide this out. Three times 10 to the eighth, divided by 2.3 times 10 to the ninth. So here's our Google calculator. I hit in three EE, 8 divided by, what was that, 2.3, 2.3 EE9. So we put in 2.3 EE9, and we hit equals, and we're left with 0 0.130. So 43 is less than 50, so we can leave it at 0 0.130. So let's go back to our page, and we put in here 0 0.130. Zero, and our unit is meters, so that's our unit. And as we can see over here, we've got three digits, 
and in our given, we've got two digits, and so we should have a value of two to three. We can put these as exact, 2.30 and 1.40, so that could be three places, so this would be our correct answer. 0 0.130 meters, which is 13 centimeters. And this actually, we can go right into C, 13 centimeters, you're in that radio band, of course. We're in that radio band. Specifically, we are up into that microwave region of the radio band, but still we are in the radio band. It makes sense because we're listening to the XM radio station and that's in the radio band logic. All right, so we have part of C here. Now let's work on B. B is the same as A. So in this case, our gigahertz is 1.4 gigahertz. 1.4, oops, we're in the wrong spot. So we need to just cross that off. So we have three times 10 to the eighth. meters per second. Once again, meter on the top, divide by second. And that's going to equal, in this case, we've got 1.4 gigahertz, 1.4 times 10 to the ninth. And hertz, once again, is number per second. Hertz always is per second, and it always has number in the numerator, which is just a placeholder, times wavelength. And we are solving for wavelength. So we would need to divide both sides by 1.4 times 10 to the ninth, and we will be left with the right-hand side of just wavelength. And the left-hand side, we can go ahead and multiply it out, 3 times 10 to the eighth, divided by 1.4 times 10 to the ninth. So let's clear it. 3 e e 8 divided by 1.4 e e 9 equals, and we're left with 0.214. So once again, we're at 0 0.214. 214 meters, which is 21.4 centimeters. And once again, we are still in that radio band. Now we just need to compare them. So we have 21.4 centimeters and 13 centimeters. So we know that 0 0.214 meters is the longer wavelength. So I just put 0 0.214 meters is longer. And that's my answer for part D because we wanted to find out which wavelength was the longer wavelength. Now this is how you would solve very similar problems in light. You're either given frequency or you're given wavelength and you're solving for the other because the speed of light is always a constant. This is always a constant and you're always substituting in for frequency or wavelength and solving for the other.